Margaret, thank you. Whew. Hot. New Ed 6, a major project in Louisiana, broke ground today that the governor says will help protect wetlands in the state for decades. The project isn't without controversy, though, and WDSU reporter Eli Brand explains this may be the beginning of a major battle for years to come. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Shovels to sediment and sediment into new land. That is the goal for the Mid Barataria Sediment Diversion Project that finally got its start Thursday morning after decades of debate. The goal is to use a series of basins and gates to divert the Mississippi River into the Barataria Basin to use the sediment the river carries to build more wetlands there. We're protecting the livelihood of everyone uh, who lives in this part of Louisiana. Uh, by restoring this marsh and creating this buffer uh, between our people and the Gulf of Mexico. We've lost 2,000 square miles. We have a real sense of urgency. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards took part in the groundbreaking and is a big proponent of the project that claims to add up to 26,000 acres of wetlands to the state's marshes within the next 50 years. Proponents also say the project will increase household earnings in the area and create more than 12,000 jobs, including Coalition to Restore Coastal Louisiana Executive Director Kimberly Ryer. It provides our home. The river built it. We need to let the river protect it and build us more. This area of the Mississippi behind me in Buras is a great example of how the river can carry sediment to build more land and greenery. What you see behind me, just a few years old, but not everyone working in Barataria agrees it will have the same net positive. That includes third generation oyster farmer Mitch Jurisic, who says the impact of moving fresh water from the Mississippi into marshes would destroy the state's seafood industry. You're moving the people. People cannot survive without their, without their livelihoods. They're going to have to leave and go where? Go do what? I'm 60 years old. How do I start over? You know, my son, he's got a welding degree and all of that, but that's not what he wants to do. He wants to do with the family, my, my grandfather, my grandparents who came from Croatia back in 1904 and created our family business. Jurisic says the water will wash away oysters and many shrimp and fish from the area. Around $400 million are in place to help oyster farmers, shrimpers and fishermen affected by issues the project acknowledges will come. Governor Edwards also says science will be used to find new areas to replenish oysters, shrimp and fish elsewhere. Jurisic though says the Louisiana seafood industry makes over $1 billion and it won't be saved by a one-time $400 million payment and he doesn't believe there will be anywhere else for them to go. Either we're going to move the fish or we're going to move the people. I think we need to move the fish, um, and we're, but we're not unmindful of the consequences of that. While the governor remains on board, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser is strongly opposed and disagreed strongly with the comment from the governor. That is, I hate to say it, a bull statement. Nungesser says the 50 year plan is a little too late and wants to see more done to rebuild the rapidly receding coast. We don't have 50 years. We better come up with a three to five year plan, put dredges out there 24 seven to save the coast. In 50 years, we'll be having the Grand Isle Fishing Road in Baton Rouge. Biggest fraud ever pulled over Louisiana odds. You can remember that when we drowned like rats because we built this and wasted $3 billion. Both the non-guesser and Jurisic say the fight is not over. Jurisic is part of the Plaquemines Parish Council who opposed the project happening right in their backyard. He also says a lawsuit could be coming. Don Gesser says he hopes the next governor and legislature stop the project. Edwards, though, says he hopes the exact opposite. I hope they will continue to allow science to guide that decision making. That is, that is critically important uh, to understand that you can't uh, stop progress because uh, because there are certain people who are adversely impacted. Reporting in Plaquemines Parish, Eli Brand, WDSU News. And the project is expected to cost about $3 billion.